In today's video we're going to be going over how to make a custom class for your RPG Maker MZ game. And if you love RPG Maker tips, tricks, tutorials and just general discussion about RPG Maker then scroll down and hit subscribe and the bell icon so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. In the last tutorial we went over how to make a custom character. In today's tutorial we're going to be making a class for the character such as knight, warrior, etc. As you can see if we just click on the database manager up here we've got a bunch of different tabs over here, we're going to click on class this time and you'll see there's a bunch of different classes that are already pre-made within the RPG Maker engine. We've got Swordsman, Sorcerer, Priest, Knight, etc. Now there's a few main things we just need to be aware of when creating our own custom class. So we're going to look at the Swordsman for reference. The first thing we're going to look at is the experience curve. So if you come over here and just click that button there, you can see we have a bunch of different sliders to change the different values of how experience is gained for levels. So we're going to turn all of these down to zero for now. The base value is how much experience you need to level up in total. So from level 1 to level 2 you need 50 experience. And then these two acceleration A and acceleration B sliders decide how much more experience you need to get to the next level and the next level. If you wanted to add an extra value, say instead of 50 experience to get to level 2 you wanted them to earn more, you could raise that up 40, which is extra value, so now they need 90 experience to get to level 2. These are the base stats for your starting level up. The next two decide the acceleration and how much experience is needed. So acceleration A, that deals with the front half. You'll notice that the back half remains relatively consistent. The front half, when I slide this, goes up. Acceleration B decides the back half. So this line remains straight when I go up and down with acceleration A. Now when I move over to acceleration B, that back half of this curve is going to start moving up. Now unless you're getting really specific with the game, you can stick with the standard 30, 20, 30, 30. All this really means is that this is how much experience your class needs to level up and to balance this out properly it's just about how much experience you give when the players are fighting monsters. The next thing we're going to be looking at is parameter curves. As we swap through the uh, different classes you'll be able to see all these parameter curves are changing. The Swordsman has high HP but low MP because he's not a magic user. He's got a high attack and defense, he's got a low magic defense and magic defense, low agility, and a low luck. As you can see these are his three standout stats. The HP, the attack and the defense. If we swap over to Priest you'll notice that they have lots of MP but very low attack and defense and magic defense and a very high amount of luck. Now explaining these stats, HP self-explanatory how much HP you have. MP how many magic points you have. That's the thing that allows you to cast spells. Attack is how much damage that you're going to be doing to the enemies and as you can see when I hover over these parameters it actually tells you just right below hand what the parameter does. Defense, how well you defend against physical damage. Magic attack, how much magic attack damage you do. Magic defense, again any magic spells that you take, how well you, you are at defending them. Agility affects the turn order. So someone with a higher agility is going to act more often than someone with low agility. Luck determines how often you are to be able to hit status debuffs, as well as how often you're able to defend against status debuffs. So if you have a poison spell cast against you, the higher your luck, the less likely you are to be inflicted with poison. Down here in skills you can see that at level 1 the priest learns heal, cure, armor bless and weapon bless. Then at level 3 she learns some more spells, level 5 they learn some more and so on so forth. So what you can do here is you can double click and say at level 99 this character will earn this skill. Finally on the right hand side we've got a list of traits. So what happens over here is you're able to decide different traits that affect the character. I won't get into all the different traits in this video because that's a video in and of itself. But what we'll be doing for this video is we'll be creating our own custom class and going over important things to be able to do so. So you'll see right here we have 8 different classes. Come down to the bottom and change the maximum to 9. And then you'll see we've got this blank class here. Now when we click on that we've got a standard parameter curves, we've got the standard EXP curve and then we've also automatically got some traits generated with no skills that are available to be learnt yet. 
So firstly, we're just going to call this Spellblade. We'll keep the EXP curve the same, but when I picture this class, I picture it as a glass cannon. So that means they deal a lot of damage, but they can't take a lot of damage. So with max HP, we're just going to jump into here, and you've got some quick settings, A, B, C, D, and E. We're just going to hit E, because we want them to have low HP. Over in MP, we're going to hit C because we want them to have a relative amount of magic points to be able to cast their spells. Over in attack, we're going to hit B, because we want them to be good at attacking. We're going to hit E for defense, because again, they're a glass cannon, they don't have much defense. Magic attack, we're going to hit B, because again, we want them to be good at magic spells, and we want them to be good at physical spells, so they're a spell blade. Then in magic defense, again, we'll hit E, so they've got a low amount of magic defense. Turn order, we're just going to hit C. That's really the agility. And then for luck, we're going to hit C again. Now you'll notice up in the top right hand corner it's automatically generated some traits for us, so I'm just going to go through that really quickly with you. This special parameter trait target rate, that dictates how often an enemy is going to target you. So if that's set at 100%, enemies are going to target you 100% of the time. If you've got multiple classes with 100% target rate, then it's essentially a 1 in 3 chance that you'll be targeted over one of your allies. But if you wanted to change that, we can lower the target rate. So now, this class is only going to be targeted 90% of the time. Hit rate dictates how often you're able to hit with your spells and attacks. So 95%, you're hitting 95% of the time against their evasion. So if the enemy has an evasion rate of 5%, really you'd be hitting 90% of the time. Talking about evasion, we've got our own evasion rate. So if the enemy is going to hit you 100% of the time and you have an evasion rate of 5%, then really they're only going to be able to hit you 95% of the time. Critical rate is whenever you hit, how often will you apply critical damage? Now this is set to 4%. I'm just going to raise this up a bit to maybe 7%. So we're more likely to hit criticals whenever we use spells and attacks. Now add skill type, magic. What this means is if we just quickly go over to skills, you can see where the skills are defined. You've got this skill type and you can define it as magic or special. So going back over to classes, this says add skill type magic. Now because this is a spell blade, we want both. We want magic skills and special skills. So we're just going to add a new one in. Add skill type special. So now this class can use both magic attacks and special attacks. Now, equip weapon decides what sort of weapons that this character is able to equip. A dagger is probably something we'd use for a thief class. So we're able to go in here and say that this class would use a sword. And again, if we go over to weapons, under all these different weapons, you've got a weapon type. So here, this is a staff, and this is a sword. What this trait here allows you to do is, when going to equip any weapon, it will only allow this class to be able to equip weapons from the sword parameter. If we wanted them to be able to equip swords and staves, then we just simply create a new trait, and change equip for equip weapon to staff. And now you can see they can equip swords, and they can equip staffs. And finally, you've got general armor. What this means is what sort of armor someone can equip. Like with the weapons, the armors also have special traits. So is it general armor, magic armor, light armor, heavy armor, all that sort of stuff. So going back over to class, we're going to get them to be able to equip general armor, but we also want them to equip magic armor, because they are a spell blade, they do know magic. So here we've set all the important sort of parameters for this class to be able to be independent from every other class over here. Now just using the predetermined skills in RPG Maker MZ, we're going to double click. Now at level 1 they're going to know dual attack, which is a skill specifically for sword wielders. They're also going to know venom, which is a magic ability. And just finally, they'll know flame 1. So at level 1 they're going to know all of these skills. Now when a character levels up, let's say they get to level 3, instead of just dual attack they're going to be able to do triple attack. And again, at level 3, they're going to learn Ice 1 and Thunder 1. So as you can see, when the characters level up, they're going to be able to learn all these different skills. So if we look at this class here and compare it to the rest, we've essentially created our own custom class called the Spellblade. This class is able to attack with a sword, as well as use magic skills. As I said, I'll be creating a video in the future which goes over all of these different traits that you can apply to classes, but it's not too important right now, not just as we're learning the RPG Maker MZ engine.
But if you are interested in that, then scroll down to the bottom and hit subscribe so you'll be updated whenever I upload a new video. Finally, what we're going to do is we're going to click back on the Actors tab and right under Ashula, the custom character that we made the other day, where it says Class, we're just going to change that to Spellblade. And now we have our main character with a custom class. In the next tutorial, we're going to be going over how to make enemies and how to fight those enemies in a battle. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.